Hey guys, and welcome to Cryplay's Finding Paradise. This is also known as the sequel to To the Moon, which was a game made by Can Gao and something that was really special, I guess you could say, to me and this whole YouTube thing. The creator was actually one of the first developers that ever contact me and made me feel like I'm not just some frickin' normie. When I I'm still am a normie, but I don't know, I just I owe a lot to the creator. He really boosted my confidence and Honestly, if it wasn't for him, I don't know if I'd still be doing what I'm doing today. So, yeah. <laughs> anyway, enough uh, gushing, I guess. I've been waiting for this for many years now, so... Let's finally give it a shot and uh, see what I've been waiting for. <laughs> and I'm actually doing this. Alright, cool. <laughs> Alright, let's go. Well, that was a throwback. <laughs> what the hell, Eva? That's how you keep everyone alive, including the squirrel. Hope you learned something. Look, sometimes it's either us or them. By keeping ourselves alive now, we can be around to stop more self-inflicted critter casualties later. Logic. Enlightening. We should be arriving at the patient soon. I could use a snack before then. Do you mind? Wow. Only you would pack the club box full of apples. Yeah, well, my nephew decorates the Christmas tree with him every year. And then I have to eat him for ages. Apples on a Christmas tree, huh? Don't you dare say it. Don't you mean... Pine? Oh god, no, he did say it. I'm not hungry anymore. Whoa, check out this rad bike. Why can't we go to work on these instead? Because we're here to visit dead people, not to get ourselves killed. Really? I couldn't tell after the trauma of you driving like a stunt double. Besides, we're visiting half-dead people. Very different things. Yeah, well, let's hurry and keep it that way. All yours. Where are you going? The equipment's still inside the trunk. I know. Did you just call the equipment junk? What? Never mind. C come on. I, I, I promise this is not intentional, Rosaline. Uh, okay. It's okay. I fixed it. I'm sorry. Technical problems. Let's roll. Like a cucumber. What? You know... Cucumber rolls? Sushi? Yeah, nah, it's kind of a stretch. It really is, actually. But, you know, you tried. Can you go beat up this child? Just, like, kick him? Hmm, there's a leaking sprinkler over there. Hey now, what happened here? 
She, she kicked my teddy into the water. Yeah, well, it's a dumb bear. Just like your lame hair. Who looks like that? But Ma said my bun buns are pretty. Yeah? Well, she also named you. Uh, don't worry. We'll get your bear back. Actually, let me take care of this. Why? What do you mean, why? I'm telling you, I got this one. Um, that's actually pretty interesting that we can actually choose now. This is the 2017 year, so progress of technology has been made. I believe in you, Watts. Hey. What? Huh. Is that also hers? No, that's mine, you doofus. It's the new Rebel Doll X3000. They're cool because they got attitude and don't care. Unlike wimpy teddy bears, they... Damn. Neil, what the jalapeno did you do? What? What do you mean, what? You just took some kid's doll and kicked it into the water. You could get sued for... Yay! You're my hero. No probs, kid. In your face! Wow. Alright. This is so messed up. Justice is cold and damp, Eva. Kinda like a tuna. Damn. I feel like I'm playing Fable now. Hey, uh, do you want me to get it back? Leave her be. We got more important stuff to do. Yeah, you feel good? So you want me to get your teddy back? I don't care anymore. Wow, kids these days are pretty messed up. Yeah, yeah they is. All right, fair enough. Oh God, I pressed a button. But look at this UI. It's all fancy. Interesting. Wow. You know, I gotta say, this feels so strange, but I'm 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 digging it. It's like I'm, I'm home again, Dad. You hear me, Dad? I'm back. Oh, I feel like I can sprint, but I don't remember how. Probably can't. Uh, hello. Hello. Hey there. This is Dr. Rosaline and Dr. Watts from Sigmund. You're actually here. Yeah. Well, we're on time. Um, are you letting us in? I'll wait outside the door for you. What was that? What was what? Did he not feel a blast of ice through the monitor? Well, if she's the patient's spouse, then she's got a dying spouse. Sound like we're here to lay out a picnic. Alright, maybe it's just me. Yeah, she's probably kind of going through a bit. Hey, bucko. Uh, uh, hello? What you doing? Hey, can, can we talk about your feelings about the situation? Here to fulfill someone's dying wish, huh? How'd you know? This is the second time I've seen a visit from your company this week. Who's it this time? Colin Reitz. Know him? The retired pilot? Yeah, he lives on the top floor. Go on and give him the happy ending he deserves. Probably. Hmm. Double check. Every time I see you folks, I know another room is about to go empty. At this rate, soon I won't even have a job here anymore. Double check. Every time I see you folks, I okay. Alright, well... I'm here to fulfill a dream. Maybe we'll even go to the moon again. Why not? Don't... Don't question it. Just do it. Who wouldn't want to do that? 
Spouses, am I right? Huh? Always make the job so cumbersome. Depends on the person. Dr. Rosaline, is it? And Dr. Watts. <clears throat> yes, we're here for Colin. Of course. Thank you both for coming. Right this way. I'm coming, very soft-spoken madame, who might be a male speaking in a light voice. We can talk inside. Colin's waiting. You got it. I like her buns. But she's a little sad. <gasps> huh? This is a quaint place you got it. Colin's in the other room. Come with me. Right down to business. I like that. Do you actually? Yeah, because right now I just really need to put this box down. Yeah, it's probably pretty heavy, dog. You probably should use your back. <gasps> Look at the pictures. The wedding photo hangs behind the TV. The couple looks happy. Lights. Dressers. It's locked. So you always want to check stuff. You never know when you're going to find it. Hey, I have an idea. Let's meet the patient first before rampaging through his property. Gee, when did you become so noble? Yeah. Watts? What? Come on, man. You used to be a rebel. Let's see the investigating to after we're all set, Sherlock. Fine. I just wanted to steal. Kind of. I'll investigate here, I guess, if that's okay with you. An unplugged computer. A model of a small fixed-wing aircraft. He must be here for my father. Yes. You're the patient's son? Yeah. I came as soon as I heard. But we can talk later. Why don't you get set up first? That box looks heavy. See, he gets it. Yeah, you're right. I'm sorry. Can we use this table? Are you ready to get settled? Uh, hold on. Not yet. My colleague could use some more work uh, carrying the equipment around. She's always taking care of me. Yep. She is. Really quick, let me just poke around here. There are a surprisingly large amount of neatly folded long johns here. Is looking there really necessary? Yes. There's also the machine with the lines. And there's the man who's in the bed. Okay, fine. You can put it down, buddy. Here. Yeah, just give us a moment. Is the power here sufficient? Why does everyone keep asking that? It'll work fine. Sheesh. But first, brace yourselves for a powder adage of cinematic proportions. Hmm. Huh. Guess you got more stable power grid than our headquarters. That's equally comforting as it is worrisome. You're in good hands. We do this all the time. Too much of the time, if you ask me. So you two are for real? What do you mean? He can really fulfill his wish. We'll certainly try our best, ma'am. But we always succeed, because... It would only be in his head, though. 
not like you'd be able to tell the difference. Anyhow, fess up. What is it that he wants? He wouldn't tell us. He said it doesn't affect us and we have nothing to worry about. Well, that sounds legit. Look, that's... That's okay. Uh, we'll find out from him soon enough. Is it also in the paperwork? Yeah, but who reads that stuff? I'm kidding, I'm kidding. But seriously, where did the file go? It wasn't in the box? Nope. Guess I might have left it in the car. Alright, I guess we got time while the machine's booting up anyway. Well, you left it in the car, so you get it, Watts. Rock, paper, scissors, lizard, Spock to the side? I'd rather play logic. You forgot it, so you get it. The end. Well played, Spock. I mean, it's only fair. I've updated the system. It's, uh, practically configuring itself now. Good, that'll save us some time. Already down to business, huh? Hey, I remember you. Yeah, it's been a while. Although, weren't Dr. Winters and Dr. Lynn assigned to this patient instead? Yeah, but their rosters are full at the time, so we heroically volunteered. Turned out they got nothing to do today, though. Hmm, I guess you never know the timing or the nature of your job. Anyhow, don't mind me. Just gonna go check up on the patient. Fair enough. <gasps> I can peruse the world. Oh, wait, no. Never mind. That's right. I gotta go get stuff. Hey. Is there anything I can help you with? I'm just gonna head downstairs to get something, but Dr. Rosalind could use some help in a bit. Okay. Understood. Have fun, man. I mean, I know it's not really fun, but... Neil? Don't forget to get the patient status monitor from Colin's medical doc first. Good idea. We don't want to be snoozing when it gives a long note. Sorry. I'm, it's, it's been a minute. I'm trying my best here. Here. This should help. Received remote patient monitor. Colin's heart rate monitor is now activated. Huh. Just a little wireless thing. Just hope it doesn't give me tumors. So, whoop. Wow. Ain't that something. Please don't die. Alrighty, I'll be back. Stay, uh, frosty, team. Sorry, I forgot stuff. You know how it is. But first, maybe I can snoop a bit. Might as well go get to the car first. Eva will be able to check this place out when she's ready. Okay. Fair enough. You got me. Gosh, can a brother just snoop in peace? What? Oh, I can switch characters? Wow. Huh. Neil wasn't kidding. This thing really is configuring itself. It does that now? Yeah, apparently the new paint isn't the only upgrade. I guess that means I get some time to snoop around the house. Cool. In the meantime, I'll go monitor the patient like a real doctor. I can't, I can't. Huh. Bye! That's really cool! That was a little, little swap feature. Huh. I don't, I don't think the first game had that. I'm pretty sure. I mean, it's been like... over four years now. God, it's been a long time, actually. Holy crap. Hey, child. Huh? You got your bear back. Yep. A nice lady in a brown dress swooped into the pond and got it for me. Swooped? Yeah. She didn't even touch the water. You should lay off the sugar, kid. Ain't good for your head. Hmm. Can I have the bear? No? Okay. Well, have fun, child. Uh, don't get... Stolen by swooping angel ladies, maybe? I don't know, it's all up to you. Hey, man. Done already? He didn't die on you, did he? No, 
Sheesh, who hired you? Hmm. Well, I mean, he could have died already. It was an honest question, realistically speaking. I guess. <gasps> There's an old lady. Hello, old lady. You wanna talk some smack? Who's dying, dear? Uh, excuse me, ma'am? That coat and tag. You are from Sigmund. If you're here, then someone's time is up. Colin Reeds, do you know? I see. He and his wife used to stroll with my husband and me here every day. Please do your best for him, dear. Uh, you sound awfully calm about it. If I were your friend, I'd be worried. After years of seeing everyone around you go, it's hard not to be. But then, you of all people should know that well. Huh. Well, enjoy feeding your swans. God, getting old must suck. All your friends just dying slowly around you? God, no. Can something horrible happen to me that would also be a peaceful death before I get too old to see that happen? No offense to all my friends that would see me die and stuff, it's just, I don't want to see them die. I guess that's selfish, though. Man, this is rough. Dang, Nabbit. Did I leave it at the office? Hello? Rox, it's me. Neil! Still hiding your caller ID? Getting calls from unknown feels like I'm in a horror movie, you know? My bad. I'll turn it off next time. No, I love the suspense. Every time I'm like, am I getting cursed? Are the feds coming after me? The excitements are endless. Um, already? Anyways. Look, are you still at the office? I think I left the patient's file on the printer. Oh, okie dokie, pocky loki. Just give me a minute. Hey, you got the file? Eva, I think I forgot a back at. You what? Don't worry, I called Roxanne. She's gonna find it and send over a scan. Okay, just take care of it. Oh, Roxanne. Did you find it, Rox? Yep, it was just sitting on your table after all. Great, just scan it and... Wait, my table? You're in my room? Yep, you asked me to get the files, right? I meant from the printer in the lobby. How did you get into my room anyhow? I locked it. Oh, that girl's got her ways. Okay. Look, just get out of there and send me a scan, would you? And don't touch anything. I just organized it. Yep, yep, I'm on it. Rocks, no. What did we say? Don't look at his secret stuff! God damn it, Rocks. You guys got everything else you need? Yeah, he was configuring the machine right now. How's the weather out there? What? Is it nice out for a drive? I guess so. Nito, I think I'll just come over and get you the file in person. What? Why? Just scan and send over a copy. Well, we got no patience today and it's boring here anyway. Anyhow, don't worry. I'll get there before you guys are done. See you both then. But wait, rocks. Dang, nabbit. She knows your stuff. <gasps> it's time to snoop. Don't mind me. I'm just, you know, 
I should get someone to show me around. Oh. I guess I can't snoop in private, that'd be rude. Anything I can do to help, Doc? Uh, yeah, about Colin. Mind telling me a bit about your father before we get into his head? Well, he's a retired airline pilot. Quite the people person. Worked hard to support the family from the ground up. Always made time for us. Although, more recently. But recently what? Well, nothing unexpected at this stage of his life, I suppose. Look, I'd rather not write out tombstone text before they're due. Why don't I show you around before your colleague comes back? Maybe that'll help. I would. Thank you. Thank you for the note. Asher, join the party. Nice. Come on, pal. I'll lead the way while you show me around. <gasps> Sparkles. A model of a small fixed-wing aircraft. Huh. Is this your dad's? It sure is. I guess it reminds him of back when he trained flying those. Hmm. Fair enough. Uh, don't mind me while I just, you know, see everything possible. A pot of homegrown hibiscus. Oh. Must be hard work growing tropical plants all the way out here. I wouldn't know any better. My mother takes care of them. We've had these around the house for as long as I can remember. I guess it's some kind of family tradition. Is it by chance related to paper crafts? Is that your parents? Yeah, that's them. I remember being embarrassed about that picture as a kid. Uh, it's kind of sweet that they kept it up so well. I think it's adorable. I mean, it's kind of weird that it's right above the television, but I guess if that was you and it was like your happiest moment in your life, I guess it makes sense. But if you're trying to watch a spooky movie, it's very distracting. I'm going to look in your fridge. I can't. Or this fridge. Or this door. <gasps> the toiletries. Dang it. Why is the toilet paper never on the dispenser? <laughs> One day, they'll thank me for the unsung hero that I am. Eh, everyone's got their own nitpicky thing. I get it. Ooh, it's a room. How did... You know what? I'm not going to complain. Hey. A dusty cello with quite a few scratches across the board. This is my father's old cello. He played a lot back in the days. But not anymore, it seems. Yeah, I guess it's hard on the rest. He usually just plays the scales, though. It's not exactly music to be enjoyed. Hmm. I like this. You're getting, like, little, like, tidbits of information, I guess, and you can refer to them later for maybe figuring out his wish? An aged digital piano. Also, your father's, or... No, this is my mother's. She used to lull me to sleep by playing it back in the days. Intentionally, I help. We don't care about the mothers. It's not her wish we're fulfilling. Though, what if... The father's wish was fulfilling the mother's wish. Maybe. I don't know. Either way, let's go upstairs. Ooh. I haven't seen many apartments with multiple floors. Most of this floor is for maintenance. We just got a little storage room cut out. Sorry about the mess. Seems like they've been doing a bit of a cleanup. Nah, it's fine. You should see my house. It's horrible. Huh. Seems like they missed one. I think I recognize that book. It's been around for quite a while. But I kept it taped up. I guess he didn't want to throw it away. Yeah, it's sealed up. He doesn't want anybody reading it, huh? Well, under normal circumstances, I'd say leave alone for privacy's sake. But he did sign up to become your client, so... I don't know. Hmm. That's true. There's a chance that it helped the mission. There's nothing in this. Huh? It's nothing but stacks of empty pages glued to the spine. They're all wrinkled, too. 
That's... odd. It's been around for ages, though. Maybe whatever was on there faded? These aren't receipts, but I guess it's possible. Either way, there's not much I can do with this. Let's keep moving. Hmm. It might be invisible ink, which you need something for. Oh, actually, there's uh, something else that might help you prepare. Yes? Here's the family photo album. Goes way back. A physical photo album in this day and age. Feels like it turned to dust if I open it. It's quaint, but I guess they like having something they can touch. Look through it if you want. I'll go check on my father. I should go get the machine ready too. My colleague will be back soon. But I'll check this out for a bit first. Aww. That's cute. They're just so cute. Aww. <laughs> That's adorable. Played soccer, he graduated. Mom has always had very stylish hair. All things considered. She was rocking it. Also, little, little business boy. Definitely needed to keep his stuff in order. I'm sure he figured it out, though. How are we doing here? Good. Got my part done. I'm about the file. You said Roxy's sending the scans? Uh, she said she's delivering it in person. For some reason. What? That's wasting both our time and hers. Hers, mostly. We can still start. Still, I mean, I know she's a bit cucumbers in the head and all, but... What? Well, well, language. Eva. Anyway, we'll worry about her loopiness later. Shall we start? Alright. Let's get the patient equipped up. Man, you don't just call someone cucumbers. That's fricked up. Uh, Neil? Hmm? Never mind. We'll talk later. Your helmet is on the recliner. We're all set. I'm going in, ma'am. What are you waiting for? Might as well start at this point. You sound like we're about to poison him. I mean, I guess he is technically already poisoned from the procedure. But I mean... Not in a bad way, sort of. It's like, alcohol is poison too, right? Anyway, I'm just gonna get to work. Yeah, don't, don't talk to her anymore. Bad impression. Good luck. I hope you can accomplish what my father sent out to do. Yeah. Hey, hey, Doc, how the, how the sign's looking, man? Colin's condition is looking stable for the moment, but I would hurry. You never know exactly how long we have. That's true. <sighs> Jack in. Mega Man. The, uh, Jack in. Mega Man. Wait. Before you begin, could you tell me what you'll be doing in there? Or, we're going through his memories to grant him his last wish. Duh. I thought you already knew? Yeah, I didn't know that, but... How? What will you actually be doing? Well... We actually don't do much. It's the machine that does most of the work. Says the technician. Who knows best? The machine calculates permutations of possibilities and creates a new tangent of life. In the form of memories, of course. It's an illusion, but to him, it would be indistinguishable from a lifetime of real memories. 
However, the permutations the machine calculates would still have to be logically coherent. So it needs a starting point, and a change in the key variable. And that's where we come in. We tunnel through his memories, from the most recent to as far back as we need. Drawing a line from now to then. We'd then be able to help Colin transfer his current motivations all the way to his past. So, in his simulated life rerun, he'll make all the kick ass decisions and fulfill his own wish. Just by his own volition. Is that enough? And I've thought that fulfilling wishes would take more than just effort and a second chance. I mean, can you two just make whatever needs to happen... happen? I mean, realistically... I'm sure we have enough time. Perhaps, but one problem. He's not brain dead. There are a few things that uphold the illusion of reality. Illogical happenstances aren't one of them. And since the world still must be self-coherent, we can't do more than simply influence them. Besides, we don't get paid enough to generate memories manually. It's not a cave painting. There's little need for interference anyhow. Willpower is usually more than enough. Not everyone can reach their goals in real life. Time changes them. Motivations come and go. They always start strong, then plateau, then... fade. But in the simulation, based on the mental state of a single moment, stretched through a lifetime. Let's just say some powerful voodoo, man. Anyhow, no amount of volition's gonna help a dead man. Shall we proceed? Yes. Thank you for the explanation. I don't know what's gonna happen in there, but... Good luck. Looks for lotteries. We're professionals. Ooh, sharp words. See you on the other side. Patient is stable and ready. Initializing memory traversal sequence in three, two... One. All right, this should be Colin's last accessible memory. Yeah. Check out the raining heavy sleeper champ over here. Leave that memory of her alone. She's not her client. By the way, I wanted to ask earlier. What's with the helm you put on her patient? Hmm? The equipment. It looked different. Oh. I just removed the casing during maintenance, that's all. Then why didn't you put it back? Hey, that reminds me. Did he know that I added a new feature? New feature? Behold! N never mind, forget I asked. Yeah. What is- what? Oh my. What? Really? I can customize him? Oh no. What have you done to me? Can. Can, no. Fuck. Well, I gotta go with what suits what freaking Watts would pick. Oh, we gotta go with the socks. Dead sock puppets? Oh no. Oh no. <gasps> Mithril socks, perfect. That's what Watts would do, 100% guarantee. Yes. Ta-da! Just... Just why? Well, I figured if we're gonna spend so much time working here, we might as well travel in style. We? Oops. Did I say we? Sorry, I meant... Oh, wait. Yeah, that's exactly what I meant. Tag, you're it! Neil, you son of a... This is pretty cool. <gasps> oh no, it's adorable. No, 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 no. 
You're gonna be the pure one. However, you can have the cucumber pattern. That seems fitting. That's adorable. I like it a lot. Well, that could have been worse. I guess I'll wear it like this until we find Colin. You got lucky this time. I was really counting on something more face comb worthy. I don't want to know what you meant by that. Nice socks, by the way. Mm-hmm. Darn right. The current memory's position in time can be viewed by moving the mouse toward the top of the screen. Oh, let's turn off world interaction before we wake her up. After all, I'm surprised we didn't already. Okay, so now we're just ghosts. Hello, ghost ma'am. It's not polite to stare. Sheesh. And she didn't seem to like us before. Well, to be fair, it's not a very easy time for her. Cello? Hmm. Age station the piano. Okay. Well, I guess we'll just go down here again? Yeah. No? Yes? No? Outside it is. Hey, Colin. Colin? What the? This isn't a stable copy. Let's find one we can talk to. Unstable copy. I'm kind of curious about that video game. What do you mean by that? There's not instance of Colin on most recent memories balcony. So, he imagined, or remembered he was there? I'm not too sure. Kind of strange, but sure. You know, video games do things. And memories are sometimes fricked. Like mine. I'm really bad with my memory. I don't remember a damn thing about a lot of things that I should remember. How about this book? It's still full of books here. He must have cleared it very recently then. Cleared it. Yeah, when I checked this place in reality, it was empty except for one odd book. Which... isn't here, actually. Ooh, spooky. Hmm, interesting. An antique dust-covered mirror. This thing? No, okay. And this is just trash. Gotcha. Man, this is nice. This brings me back, man. I'm getting all nostalgic and shit. Ah. Oh. Let me check the toilet paper roll. I can't. The bathroom's locked in his memory. I guess I don't blame him. Uh. Pretty sure the hall didn't look like this. Dude's so old he can't even remember his own home. But isn't the machine supposed to autocorrect these kinds of spatial inconsistencies? Well... Oh hey, look! Found him. Target acquired. Let's go. Aw, but you look nice. Eh, I like it this way better. Ahem. Eh, alright. Thanks. Turning on entity interaction. Aw, oh, man. You were gonna have such nice hair. Colin? My name is Dr. Eva Rosaline. I'm a memory traversal specialist at Sigmund Corp. And my colleague here is Dr. Hatton. Dr. Manhattan. You are Dr. Neil Watts. How did you know? Your name tag. This isn't what it looks to be, is it? Yes, Cullen. Your procedure has started. 
Good. It's not just me, then. Something fell off about this place. It's as if I'm both here and far away at once. Either this isn't where I think I am, or my head's going downhill faster than I thought. More like both, actually. Huh. <laughs> Fair enough. My wife and son. How are they handling it? They're... there, right? Yeah, but they are prancing around, that's for sure. Although, given the circumstances, I guess I'd be worried if they were. Listen, there's not a lot of time, and it's best if we get started. In the most recent slice of Colin that we can load up, and the only relatively reliable version that we can interact with for info. So, I hope you can assist us in completing the mission. Of course, why would I not? Good. I'll keep your state safe so we won't need to have this conversation again. Psst. Run a save on the state. Yes, your highness. Acha. Now, in order to help you relive your life here to fulfill your last wish, we are first going to backtrack through your memories to connect your timeline. And then, we'll be able to transfer your desire all the way to your younger self and run the algorithm for you to live your life here all over again to fulfill your wish. Anyhow, Colin, we need your help. To jump between memories, we need mementos. They're items of importance to you that connect one memory with another. Do you have one here that we could jump with? Whoa, 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 slow down. We still don't even know what his wish is. What is it that you want anyway, Colin? Actually, I think I can answer both of your questions with this. It's his Sigmund contract. The text is rather blurry, but... It is a memento. Sweet! Let's move! Huh. Well, uh... Alright, Colin. Fair enough. This memento's barrier shatters by itself since it's so recent, but the next one won't be so easy. Cause the puzzles. We'll need to charge it up first. Sure. <gasps> the puzzle anyway! Memories go the farthest when linked together. Okay, I don't fully understand how this works. It's been a long time. What is happening? Oh, I see. So I just... It's, it's a match three, really. Gotcha. But that one... Uh-oh. I think we fricked it. Uh-oh. Um, well... Oh, no, we're fine. Hello? All right. Press the button. Go. Thanks. We might come back for your help again. Bye, Colin. Keep it real... brisky. Wait a minute. This place... It's the Sigmund guest house. Ah, where they whine and dine the geezers into signing up for the service. Sure been a while since I visited. Looks a bit different from when I was here last, too. Let's check it out. Huh. Explore and interact to find memory orbs. This is taking me back. This is great. Hold on a second. There is a person sitting. And that person sitting needs to party with me. Oh, it's Colin. What are you doing outside in the cold, Mr. Reed? Your appointment is about ready. Please, right this way.
Okay. Fair enough. Nothing else back here. Man, this is... Oh, God. It's just so freaking nice. Oh.